Hey guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very special one. We're going to talk about the newest palette from Glaminatrix Cosmetics and this is called Pretty in Pastels palette. Look at the art cover of the palette. I really, really love this ombre effect going on here. It looks so, so, so very pretty. I really, really love it. Uh, it also comes with a box packaging with all the ingredients in the back. It's a plain pastel pink packaging, but this is where my heart is. Like I love this pinky, greeny, purpley vibes that are going here. And look at the inside. It comes with a huge mirror. It's very unlike the regular size pans that they're, they've been doing in like the Rich Romantic palette. This is a 20 pan eyeshadow palette. And this would retail for 65 Australian dollars or 43 USD. And you can use my code Smithy Sony to save 10% off. This has a clear color story going on here with pinks and purples, with yellows and oranges, with greens, like limey green as well as sagey greens, as well as like pastely blue column. I love, love the addition of the deeper tones in the last row. I love that they have put like a grungy row too with the same color story and of course the pastels and then two rows of shimmers. Now these shimmers are not like multi chromy by any means. They, some of them do have like that duochrome shift, but these are more like sparkly pastel-y uh, shimmers, which is a little different for Glaminatrix Cosmetics because they've always done like super shimmery, shifty tones. But I love, love this addition also. This is what Glaminatrix was like lacking in their whole collection. And what better time to bring it rather than Easter, right? Pastels I love for Easter's and this is obviously the first look that I've created using the green row as well as the yellow orangey row. Uh, we we'll definitely play with the blue and the purple row also because you know me, I love my purples and these purples, oh my god, I love it. This would launch on March 2nd here in America, which is a Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Or if you're in Australia, then it will launch on Sunday, March the 3rd at 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. This would be launching along with these blushes, the liquid blushes. Also, at the same time, I've done a dedicated video using these liquid blushes on my channel. I'll link it in the iCards above if you've not seen it. On anything on Glaminatrix website, you can use the code Smithy Sony to save 10% off because I am an affiliate of uh, Glaminatrix Cosmetics. This was sent to me in PR. Now, let me show you all the swatches because you need to sh see the shifts the <clears throat> because you need to sh see the dimension, the sparkles going on in this palette. I could not sit and like swatch all of them live for you because it doesn't have like many shifts. You can clearly see the sparkle and the shine in the inside lighting too. And I definitely wanted to showcase that to you. Now, if you're ready to see both of these looks in action, then please keep on watching. The lighting might be a little off. It's early in the morning. I cannot wait to dig into this. Obviously, I've swatched this palette. You have already seen all the swatches. Let's dive into the first look. I want to play with a little bit of yellows, maybe yellows and greens or maybe yellows and blue. I am wearing yellow and a green. We'll see. We'll see how it rolls. Okay, I am going to start from dark to light. So let's do green. I'm going to dip into the darkest green of the palette, this one, which is called Restful. Okay, I'm going to start off with the Restful shade right in the outer corners. And I love that they put an addition of like deeper shades in the last row. I feel like that just makes it so much more wearable. I'm actually going to a kid's birthday party. So I don't want to be like the talk of the town. But I'll try to make it more wearable. So just like a liner kind of a, a theory right there. And then I'm going to do the same thing on my lower lash line. Just in the outer corner. A tad bit. Just to tie everything out. And then just to uh, finish off the lower lash line. I want to dip into this labyrinth shade which is the lighter green. It's more of like that minty green shade. And then just joining it with that deeper green. Just like that. Okay. Now, once we have that green everywhere, I'm going to dip into this shade, which is Entrance, which is a more of that limey green shade. And I'm going to start blending that with that deeper green. 
I'm just creating a gradient. The tones are definitely like different. When you open the palette, you will be like, you know, oh, pastel, like a drink of pastel. But once you swatch it, that's when you actually understand like all of this makes so much more sense. I literally feel like every column in this palette can create two looks. That's just beautiful. I feel like it, there can be a pink look, there can be a purple look, there can be a yellow look, orange look, a lime green look, like a duochrome greeny, purple kind of a deeper smoky eye look. There can be like a sky blue look, there can be a deeper blue look. You definitely can get easily, easily eight looks like without even thinking about it. But so much more. If you combine mix and match shades, you definitely can get so much more. So I'm just building that and melting that with a deeper green. Now for the inner third of the eyelid, I want to go into this orange shade. So let's do that. And I'm going to just make a gradient from like that deeper green to the lighter green to that orange and then uh, yellow. All of this melts in so beautifully with each other like they're blending in very nicely obviously if you have like a lighter skin tone these shades would show up like 20 times more or you have to put like a whiter base underneath so once we have that now moving into that yellow shade and just blending it right there in the inner corners and to the inner part of the crease just to brighten things out that's a beautiful like an inner corner matte shade going back into that green shade just so that i don't want to lose that now time for some shimmers i'm just going to put some nyx glitter glow i'm going to dip into this deeper green shade which is soothing this definitely has like green purple um a bunch of like sparkles going on it so i'm just gonna take that in the outer portion of the eyelid and melt it with that deeper green shade just like that look how stunning that is super shiny too then i'm gonna take this shade which is magical which is that yellow shade and let's see i'm very scared of yellows on me <laughs> not gonna lie but we'll see I'm gonna take that right there in the inner part and then melt it down right there. Didn't I say that I'm not gonna go all out? Look at look at me. That's fine. And then just to melt both of these together, I'm just going to take a little bit of the green soulful shade here. And I'm just going to melt it down the center just to melt both of these together because that soulful shade definitely has a little bit of yellow sparkles running throughout it. So this is definitely the best melting shade that you can mend these two shades with. For the inner corners, I'm going to take this shade, which is Idealist, and just place that right there. It's more of that orangey, goldeny inner corner shade, like that. I know, I know. <laughs> Let me finish off this eye with some liner and mascara, and I'll get right back. I feel like for the lower lash line, we should dip into this shade, which is Luminous. This is the only shade that we have not used from the uh, two columns so actually let's use that over the lower lash line just to test out the shade i feel like that breaks up the greenness and i can wear like a deeper brown shade or something on the lips or a burgundy yeah. see yeah see <laughs> This is Huda Beauty lipstick in the shade last night. And that's my first eye look. I really also feel like instead of those greens, if you pair those 
uh, with those deeper blues you can get that same effect of the new fantasy cosmetica palette i feel like you can definitely create some similar vibes using the blues instead of those greens now let's move on to the second eye look okay before we start with the eyeshadow let's apply some blush i'm going to use the shade gentle from glaminatrix the lip flushes which is also releasing on the same day you have a lot of gift time here uh, with these blushes so let's apply that you can definitely get more flushed cheek for this look because we're going to play with some pinks and purples so now that we are all ready let's begin with the second look look how easy that was okay let's begin we're gonna go the same route uh, i'm gonna start off with this shade which is tranquil which is a deeper purple shade and i'm gonna take that on the outer corners right there just because i want that depth okay now just to get a little bit of blueness to the look i will get into this peaceful shade but toward just the extreme outer corner so let's do that right there you can i don't know if you can see it or not i definitely can see that effect and i'm just gonna focus it right there in the outer corners because i want that purpliness to come through oh so pretty the tones are amazing on a deep smoky eye this would be amazing too i'll definitely use it more in the upcoming videos so pretty so pretty love it and i'm gonna dip into this shade which is fanciful love that name this mid-tone grayish purple shade i love these shades and i'm gonna take that right there and melting it down with that blue and the purple i love that look at that tone i love it so now you can see that blue and the purple coming through. I am loving it, loving it. Okay, now let's move into this pink shade, which is Mystify. And we're going to take that towards the crease, like the inner third of the crease. And mainly focusing here in the inner portion of the eyelid just to open it up. Oh, there's a lot of sun going in and out i'm sorry for the variation of the light now for the lower lash line i'm gonna go into this blue shade and focus that on the outer corner and then take this purple shade fanciful and apply to the rest of the lower lash line love it okay let's start off with this shade which is daydream which is like a blue purple shade i'm gonna focus that right there in the outer corners look how stunning that is i don't even know if you can see it or not it comes across as a purple to me but it's definitely a blue shifting to a purple very very pretty wiping off the same brush now i'm gonna go into this shade which is ambient which is that purple and i'm gonna focus that in the majority of the eyelid i would say so it will be like a purple going to a blue now you can see the difference between that purple and this blue and now for the inner corner let's take this shade which is surreal which is that baby pink shimmery shade and i'm gonna take that in the inner corner of the eyelid and just melting it to that purple just so that everything works super smoothly just right there i'm gonna do the final touches finish this eye off with some liner and mascara and i'll get right back and that's my second and the final look i really really love both the eye looks that i created of course to give my final thoughts i would definitely say if you are looking for like shifty sparkly shadows this won't be the one for you but if you love pastels and if you if you want what you're seeing in this pan i you will absolutely love it because the shadows are absolutely beautiful they're blendable they're pigmented they build one on top of each other really really well but this is not like shifty by any means yes they are like sparkly and they 
beautifully adhere to the eyes they last for the entire day they do not crease on me at all i really really love the way how it performs on the eye but whatever you see is what you're getting it, there'll be no like unwanted like surprise uh, when you dive into this palette i really i just have to play with a little bit more on the blue side uh, especially this shade and these two shades but rest everything i use which i feel like out of the 20 pan eyeshadow palette i have used like 17 which is a good deal which is a great deal okay <laughs> i really really love it if you are looking for a pastel palette and if you are aware of the glaminatrix formula you would absolutely love it i really would give it a thumbs up from my side for sure uh we i'll test it out even more to just give my final thoughts towards the end of the month but out of the two obviously I'm more into purples and this is like my comfort zone. So I'm much more into this look. Uh, but the other look, I got a lot of compliments when I went to the birthday party with the green look. People really, really complimented me. So I, I definitely wanted to say that to you guys. Uh, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Do let me know in the comment section below, are you going to pick up this palette or not? And if you're planning to pick it up, use my code Smithy Sony to save 10% off. Now let's move on to the outro. I really hope that you guys enjoyed both the eye looks that I create for you guys. Do let me know in the comment section below, out of the two looks, which one was your favorite? And are you interested in this pastel palette from Glaminatrix Cosmetics or not? I also wanted to mention that these pans, I feel like it's magnetic. Let me test out. Because generally, yes it is magnetic generally glaminatrix palette in the smaller pan are definitely magnetic so you can mix and match with the other palettes also if you have them in the collection and if you are planning to get this palette on the launch day you can use the code smithy sony to save 10 percent off but that's all for today guys if you did like this video you know what to do do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that i post next i generally upload three videos every single week every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays at 9 a.m eastern standard time until next time i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys